Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and today I'm going to give you a review of 20th Century Star Carol Lombard by Michelle Morgan. This was sent to me very kindly by the History Press in exchange for a fair and honest review. So I've, uh, it took me about, it took me about a week to read. Um, normally I can really plow through a biography. Not that this one wasn't difficult, wasn't easy. It's not that this one was difficult, it's just I've been so busy what with rehearsals I've had a lot of stuff going on uh, with the theatre and at home and oh yeah so it took me a bit longer than normal but on to the book first of all it is packaged gorgeously it's just beautiful with this beautiful pink cover the inside cover is just white and black and it does have Carol Lombard and Michelle Morgan in gold on it so it is I mean obviously the the hardback part of it is not sp spectacular, but to me that's not why I buy the book. It's nice. I do like this cover. Um, it'll go very nicely on the shelf with Ice Cream Blonde, which was this blue one. So we put them together. They're going to look rather yummy together on a shelf, aren't they? Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, but yes, and again, like um, Ice Cream Blonde, Michelle Morgan has done a fantastic job again. She as I've said before, does not concentrate on scandal. She does not make things up. She doesn't imagine this is what somebody has said or what they're feeling. She goes with the facts as they are and as she can find them. Now, I don't know a lot about Carol Lombard, or I didn't, I know a lot more now. I had read two books previously, and that was Gable Lombard Powell and Harlow by Joe Morella and Edward Z. Epstein, which is this little paperback here. When this one came out years ago, I think, if I can have a look, it came out, the first printing was in 1975. And it, it's a bit of a fan biography, you know, it's, it's nothing special. Um, and I don't think I really read the Lombard part because it was more that I was more interested in the Harlow section because you can actually get the Carol Lombard and Clark Gable section in a book on its own but the Powell and Harlow section was quite difficult to get hold of so I wanted to get the bind up of the two couples because obviously Clark Gable and Jean Harlow made a lot of films together and Lombard and Powell were married at one point and then Powell and Harlow were going out so it was all yeah lots of that going on and the other book I have read on Carol Lombard came out a couple of years ago and it was Fireball, Carol Lombard and the Mystery of Flight 3. This by Robert Matson. Now this is a very good book, I'm not going to lie, I really enjoyed this, but it is more about um, the, 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 the plane crash that took Carol's life and the lives of everybody on board. And it also goes into their histories as well and their families. It's not just about Carol Lombard, although obviously she is um, the, the main subject we forget that Carol wasn't the only person to die on that plane and her mother and, and everything. There were a lot of servicemen on there. There was obviously the flight crew. There were some women on there. Um, there were a lot of people, not just Carol. So, yeah. So it focuses on all of them and the recovery effort of, you know, recovering the bodies and, and the personal effects. Um, yeah, it's a great, great book but it doesn't focus very, very deeply on Carol's life. And you think it is a chunk of a book compared to Michelle's book, but what Michelle's book it does is, Michelle's book doesn't focus on the plane crash. The plane crash is obviously in there because it was the end of Carol's life. And there's a little, there is a chapter about it called The Dark Mountain, which is really good. But this takes us on a journey with Carol from her birth to her death, sadly. She was like 35 years old. She wasn't very old, 33 actually she was, wasn't she? Um, it takes um, a look at all the films she made, the small films, the slapstick, the short comms, the accident that nearly ended her career before it began, um, her marriage to William Powell, her relationship with Russ Columbo before he died, and then of course her marriage to Clark Gable. We learn a lot about her films in this book and there are lots of uh, quotes from Carol all the way through the book. And that is brilliant because it brings Carol to life. It brings her alive. She's alive. She is a real flesh and blood, per blood person in this book because of the quotes that are used. I really like Carol. I think I would have liked to have been her friend because she's she seemed like a, a really good girl, really good gal, somebody you could have a laugh with, but also she'd be there for you if you needed her. That's the overall impression I got that she was very kind, very generous and very loving. 
Um, so yes, it's a really, really nice book, really beautifully done, beautifully presented. If you look at this chapter heading, if it'll, let, if it'll focus in, there we go. As you can see, you've got this sort of, you've got the, the title. You've also got this sort of like, it looks like an art deco sort of lift elevator thing or you know cut playing cards really really like that and then on the edges of the book you've got this decoration I don't know if it'll focus on it there you are so when you close the book and you have a look at the edge you've got these this gray pattern running through the book and it just looks beautiful now the book also has some lovely photographs of Carol from uh, various private collections and let's see if I can find my favorite one of all the ones in here that is because they are absolutely gorgeous I do love the one that's on the back which is this one and then you know there's just this I mean she looks so different in every single photograph she looks totally different and she just looks fantastic um yeah oh. It's a lovely one of her looking at a fan magazine, which I think is fantastic. I love a little hat and a matching scarf. So this is a beautiful book. Um, Michelle's writing, I've said this before, and I'm still out of focus. Hello. It's beautiful. Michelle's writing flows. It flows beautifully. I always find that with biographies, some biographers jump around a bit. They jump all over the place from one thought to the next. Michelle's writing is so carefully thought out, it is so carefully planned, not so much that it's contrite, but it's so carefully done that it flows, it just flows beautifully, you know, it tells the story with a beautiful way, a beautiful timeline, a beautiful narrative, it just, it just flows beautifully and, and there's very few writers who can do that. Uh, Michelle is one, I will always, you know, pick up a biography that has Michelle's name on it um, not just because I do know her and I do know her I'll put my hands up I do know her but for me she really brought Carol Carol back to life which I think is wonderful and Carol does deserve to be remembered she made some fantastic films Clark Gable was devastated when she passed um, it was devastating circumstances um, but she will live on forever because of the films we do have of her. We are lucky. Um, so yes, I gave this five out of five stars again because I just love the beautiful flowing narrative that Michelle creates, the beautiful photographs. The fact that she doesn't dwell on the scandal, the scandal is there and it's mentioned, but it's not the be all on the end of the books. For instance, with some of the Marilyn ones, it's all about the scandal and let's make up as many lies as we can. Michelle doesn't do that in her books. She researches, she's only interested in the truth. She's only interested in things that can be proved fact. She's not interested in the gossip and the scandal. I know some people find that boring, but I find that brilliant. It's so sensitively written and it's treating these people the way they deserve to be treated. It's too easy for anybody these days to say whatever they want about the dead because the dead cannot fight back. And Michelle sticks up for her subjects. She pulls out their florals. She points them out, points out their flaws. But also says, but this was what they also did. Everybody's got flaws, we're all human. Carol was human. This book shows her as a human. It shows how she changed from being this party loving uh, star to being someone who just likes staying at home on the ranch with Clark. How wonderful. So yes, five out of five stars. This is from the History Press. It's available on Amazon, Book Depository, anywhere you want to get it. Foils in London have it. Go get it. It's a really good book. A really great biography of Carol Lombard. And I can't believe there's nothing else from Michelle coming out for ages now. We have to wait for her Victorian Scandals books, which is going to be ages. Oh, uh, Michelle, come on, go, right, right, stop watching this video and go and write the next book. So five out of five stars for Carol Lombard, 20th Century Star by Michelle Morgan. I'll see you soon. Bye.